Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Wednesday, March 6th. Today on Forbes, AI unicorn Anthropic releases Claude 3, a model it claims can beat OpenAI's best. On Monday, Anthropic announced a new series of large language models that the artificial intelligence company claims are the world's most intelligent to date, outperforming rival offerings from OpenAI and Google. Called Claude 3, Anthropic's new model family comes in three versions, Opus, Sonnet, and Haiku, that vary by performance and price. The company said that Opus, the most powerful and most expensive version to run, outperformed OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini 1.0 Ultra across a series of benchmarks that measure intelligence. Both Opus and Sonnet, the mid-tier offering, were made available Monday, while Haiku will be released at a later announced date. In an interview, co-founder and CEO Dario Amode said the model family was designed with different business use cases in mind. He said, quote, Claude 3 Opus is, at least according to the evaluations, in many respects the best performing model in the world across a range of tasks. On a number of popular test subjects, including undergraduate level general knowledge, grade school math, computer code, and question and answers knowledge, Claude 3 Opus outperformed OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini 1.0 Ultra. This, according to the benchmarks the company shared. On the general knowledge benchmark, Claude 3 Opus also outperformed Mistral Large, the top-line release model from open-source AI unicorn Mistral, released last week. The version of Claude 3 that most users will see, however, Claude 3 Sonnet, performed more on par with GPT-4, ahead on some benchmarks, behind on others. And Amade conceded that Anthropic's benchmarks did not factor in recent updates from OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo and Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, as their peers have not yet published corresponding test evaluations. But Amade said, quote, I would be surprised if we did not perform competitively. Amode and co-founder and sister Daniela Amode told Forbes they expect Opus to be used by businesses that need the most cutting-edge performance for functions like complex data analysis and biomedical research. Formed by seven researchers who quit OpenAI, Anthropic has historically aimed to separate itself from its progenitor and other companies in the field through a deeper focus on AI safety. Some industry insiders have wondered if this has slowed the company down and questioned its model performance in recent months, including on social media. On a popular crowdsourced leaderboard of human evaluators, Claude 1 currently carries a higher rating than its successors, Claude 2.0 and the updated Claude 2.1. Dario Amade shrugged off those ratings as just one human-based evaluation of a finite number of consumer tasks. He conceded that while Claude 2 was safer than its predecessor in a way that satisfied Anthropic's researchers, That came at the cost of higher so-called incorrect refusals, or rejections of prompts that the model believed came too close to its safety guardrails. Anthropic claimed that the Claude 3 family performs much better than predecessors in not serving those rejections. Harmless prompts close in content to its safety limits are refused about 10% of the time, compared to 25% for Claude 2.1. Amode said, quote, Now we're making progress towards more balance between the two, something that gets the best of both worlds. It's really hard to draw a complex boundary in the right way. We're always trying to do that better. While companies like Inflection, Character.ai, and even OpenAI have ventured further into consumer use cases, Anthropic is focusing on business customers. Users of its free consumer chatbot, also called Claude, will now get access to Sonnet, while individuals looking to try Opus will need to subscribe to its $20 per month paid version. But again, Daniela Amode reiterated that Claude 3's releases were made more for business use cases in mind. Claude customers include tech companies GitLab, Notion, Quora, and Salesforce, which is an anthropic investor, financial giant Bridgewater, and conglomerate SAP, as well as business research portal LexisNexis, Telco, SK Telecom, and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. For full coverage, check out Alex Conrad and Kenrick Kai's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.